I'm out here in Algonquin Park. My water's boiling. Snapping a couple twigs and I just got a little boo-boo. Stuff like this you could just leave. But I thought it was a good opportunity to show you guys my little first aid kit. Got this bag out of uh, like an empty first aid kit I found and it just had a survival blanket in it. So I just grabbed what I think I would need and threw it in here instead of buying one. This is polysporin in a bottle. Just a bit of that antibiotic and then it's split into two sections. This is more like kind of serious stuff you get to worry about. And this is those, uh, you know, minor scrapes, stuff that just you want to bandage up for your comfort. So in here I have a bit of Gear Aid Tenacious Tape or something like that. It's like a waterproof uh, repair kit. Yeah, Tenacious Tape. So I just have a couple strips so in case I get a hole in my tent or my rain jacket or something I could uh, touch that up. And I actually already did on my rain jacket. I've got some um, some clips which are nice. And, uh, just a little thing of gauze, some band-aids and after bite sting relief stuff and then some tape and tweezers. <clears throat> So I'm running low, clearly. It's my last band-aid. <clears throat> but, in my other one, I have, like, all the same things, but beefed up. So I have um, some better medical tape that'll actually stick to you. I've got some serious gauze here that I still have from when I held my wisdom teeth out. This I got when my mom was in the hospital. She stole it for me. Um, I got some disinfecting wipes, some more gauze, and like a, a guide thing that'll teach you how to do things. Anything more than this, I feel is just extra. Tourniquet, you don't need a tourniquet out here. Not in Algonquin Park, you know, maybe if you're going into the back country, I understand. But uh, stuff like like you don't need a qu cotton swabs and stuff like if I want to repair just a, a minor cut you know I'm gonna get a band aid <coughs> I'm gonna put some polysporin on it I'm gonna cover it up <coughs> if I get a more serious cut I'm gonna gauze it wrap it and get the fuck out of here so there's no need for you know a, f a five pound kit or anything like that this does everything I needed to do I cut my foot open on a muscle once up north and Carlo has a very similar kit to this I'm sure that he, that he built and he pulled out, you know, polysporin, some gauze, band-aids, and uh, some tape. And you tape it up, put the gauze, it doesn't bleed. And then you just got to deal with <clears throat> um, some minor discomfort. But that's it. Nice little compact package. You can put something through here, wear it on your belt if you want. That's my safety kit that I recommend bringing. If you want to bring more, it's up to you. If you're willing to carry it, go for it. I mean, any any life-threatening injury, I feel like you'd be better off with like a spot device or something. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Steph. That's my uh, personal safety kit, emergency kit, first aid kit, whatever you want to call it. And uh, if you have any recommendations of things I should add that are realistically going to happen, going to need to be repaired in Algonquin Park, let me know. But I'm going to get to this tea.
and enjoy my time in the outdoors. So I'll see you next time. Boom, pocket bellows. What do you know about that pocket bellows? Hey.